Okay, so what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Fize and um, I'm a civil engineering student and um, apparently that is um, what I do. That is what I study. So today we're just going to be looking into a flow slab detail. How you can understand a flow slab detail better. So if you're just watching this video, you're welcome. And if you're, if you're not new to the channel, that you've subscribed and do all these things, you're welcome back. So, I want you guys to listen carefully because I'm gonna be saying one, two, three, and I want you guys to clap. So, one, two, and <laughs> just, just kidding. So, I want you guys to listen to what I'm gonna be saying, you know. And um, so, a flow slab is, is just. A normal slab where you have um, your concrete plus um, the reinforcement so is either you have your reinforcement to be a single um, reinforced concrete or you have it to be a double reinforced concrete so the first thing you, you actually need to understand is if a slab is either two ways or one way after that you know you move on to understanding if um, you have a discontinuous or continuous slab and then the next thing is just for you to know the the center to center you're giving your slab at least let's try to say we're giving it 175 center to center but here we're just making use of 200 so let's just try to make use of this portion to explain everything now this is this line is a call out line now what this line is saying is that um from here to here to this side and to this side we will have this reinforcement or oh, let's, let's check it very well now that means we have 20 of y12 at 200 center to center bottom that means we have it to be lining up like this and um, that means we need 10 of a bottom reinforcement here and 10 of a bottom reinforcement here so if we should try to make use of this we have 14 y12 at 200 in that center that means 14 of um a y12 reinforcement is needed to span along this axis so that is just most of the things you actually get on your slab um, detail so you you get information on your top reinforcement on your bottom reinforcement and then you get on your top distribution or your bottom distribution so these are the things you actually get from and then um, you should always notice that at the end where you have a discontinuous slab like this is known to be a discontinuous lab because you have nothing here well, let's call it a discontinuous beam because you have nothing here again like this one you have a staircase that means nothing is here again you have no slab here again so here also it is a discontinuous so whatever you have a discontinuous slab or your beam you need to crank it so whenever you are cranking you need a top reinforcement to hold the cranking together just as this so here we have um, three of a top reinforcement holding this cranking together so those are the things you actually and um, how do you know the numbers that are needed now this is um 4375 now this is um 4375 so 4375 divided by the center to center you want to use is just how you can get the numbers of reinforcement that is required that is needed at that certain region so moving on to a lot of things like um this is a, a top distribution now how do you know a top distribution a top distribution is always um <coughs> sorry guys top distribution is always expected to be on a beam so here you have um, a beam and a beam um, and then here you have a beam and here you also have you know you understand what i'm trying to say you have it here also 
that is how you signify top distributions this is a top distribution this is a top distribution top distribution and also you have top distributions at cranking um, you have tops at cranking rather you have your tops at cranking and um so i just wonder if you guys actually watch this video to the side that means um you might have subscribed or not have subscribed so i'm thanking you guys for subscribing to my channel actually because um you guys actually pushed me making much of this content so you know i just want to meet friends and um forget about <laughs> you know how things have been going over here so i want you guys to actually make sure you're subscribing to my channel because it helps me a lot with the youtube algorithm and um let's just keep learning so without a further ado i want you guys to please click on the subscribe button and then give this video a thumbs up let me just try join uh, a thumbs up just you know like the video and um just for people like you to see it so i'm actually thinking on um, changing my channel and i'm um, showing my face and i'm um, talking about life and um, work and how things have been going as a student over here so i want you guys to actually comment down below on anything you think i should do with the channel so thank you guys for watching like we're gonna meet again